Hey everybody, we're today. <laughs> okay. Hey everybody, we're today. We're gonna paint this guy. Can you see him? <laughs> yeah. This guy, he's like he's a DD. He's a DD character with a sword. So we're gonna paint him today. And the way that I'm gonna do it, just so that it's more natural and like low stress, I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick the colors that I'm gonna use for him. So here we go. Oh shoot. Can you, can you clean that up? Come on. Okay, there's one, two, three. How many colors do you think I should have? Um, four. Yeah, I think five should be good. How many do I have? You have four. Okay, five. Okay, so, oh, perfect. That's a great, that's a great, see how it all, it all works out? <laughs> I mean, all of them would have worked out just fine. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so I'm going to just dip a little bit. Okay. Whoa. 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 Okay, and then you just... You just kind of liberally apply and you want to get a nice uh, coat on it. I, it's hard to, it's hard to see through this magnifying glass. You just get a nice coat on it. Um, and then you want to color like all of his skin. If you're going to make his head green, then most likely, how's the back? <laughs> Not great. Is, did I get it all? <laughs> Is that good? Uh-huh. Okay. So now I'm gonna do his hands because that's part of his that's part of his body. Uh but you don't want to color it like the sword or anything like that because that's gonna be a different color. Um there's a lot of people that do this that are really good at it, and I'm not one of those people. I just don't understand how they Keep it like on, just on the hands and on the face. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Okay, so they then... probably don't wear trifocals. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and dip the brush because we're done with the green. Gonna wash it off. Okay. And then you take your uh, One Direction napkin from your daughter's fourteenth birthday. From your daughter's fourteenth birthday, she's twenty now. But we, I knew. Hanging on to these, I knew that they would come in handy. That's why I saved them. So you can just, I don't know, you can pick Harry if you want and just kind of brush it off there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the cape. And I think I'm going to do, I think yellow is probably the most appropriate color for it. And when you're doing detail work like this, it helps if you have good eyes, which I don't, but you know, I just, I do my best and people are usually pretty impressed by my work in the past. You know, when I've done it in the past, they've been like, wow, I would love to have that thing in my collection. Um, so, and just beware that this guy's going to be going out to a good home. So uh, we'll be giving this guy away sometime soon. Probably when we hit our 40,000 download, we're like almost there. 40,000 downloads of the Dice Girls. I thought you were going to do an essay contest. Oh, yeah. A Twitter essay contest. Oh, that's right. Yeah, what we're, what we're going to do is... How many characters is Twitter? 280. Is it 280? I think so. So like in 280 characters, if you can, you know, tell us why this guy should be in your collection and how he's going to be a part of your game. Because I really would like him to be a part of somebody's um, somebody's story. That would just be so fun. So, and if you get a little bit of the green in with it, don't worry about it. If some of the colors bleed, it's okay. It's. It's not like lives are depending on this. <laughs> Your hands are so shaky. They are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Probably too much coffee. Or you're just, you know, getting up there. Hey. 
Push it. <laughs> you should probably be. You should probably. What'd you say? 65. I am not 65. <laughs> yeah, you should probably be getting. Because I think people like to see the detail work. Like, especially when you're doing a cape. Especially when you're sideways. <laughs> well, you. I mean, that's one of the things about painting minis is you have to turn them at different angles to get the to get the full effect. I can't believe how good I'm doing on this one. The last one I did didn't didn't come out so great. Well he's also bigger than the last one oh, you did. That's right. The other one was a cobalt, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this guy, interesting story. Um he he grew up in a in a little town. It was like a coal mining town. And at one point, uh, his father died in a mine collapse, like the mine collapsed and his father died in it. So they shut the mine down and because one guy died, <laughs> yeah, he was super popular. <laughs> he was, he was like their king or whatever. <laughs> that make any sense. King, king in a coal mine. That's a great D and D adventure thing in a coal mine. Uh, so, they, so they shut the mine down, and then this guy was like, he was just like a kid at the time, and he he swore a blood oath like right then and there that he would destroy all the mines. <laughs> yeah, that he would never work in a mine, and so his mom. Uh, she she did really didn't want to lose him in the mine too, so she made him this cape, and he was like at first he's like oh mom it's kind of weird it's kind of awkward because it's all yellow, and she says um, uh, yellow is the color of protection, and so I this cape will protect you from <laughs> from mine. <laughs> Oh gosh! And so to that day, he's never ever worked in a mine. Do you want to get a close up to see to see how good it's going? <laughs> Half of his face is yellow. Well, that's part of the protection, or that's his mask. He has to wear a little mask. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and rinse, and then this time. I think I'm going to choose Zane, and I'm just going to wipe my brush off on Zane's head. Okay, so for the sword, it's obviously it's going to be blue. Obviously. Because another thing that his mom did when she gave him the cape, she said, Son, I am hereby bequeathing you with the blue sword of sizzle magic. This will keep you... From danger along with your cape. And so his mom, like, she she had it. Oh, I got yellow. She had it, and then she does this really, like, serious deep thing where she kneels and she presents it to him. And then, <laughs> and then he takes it and he's like, thanks, Mom. I, I hereby promise to always be, to always be safe. And... To let the blue, was it the blue sword of sizzle? <laughs> blue sizzle magic. Blue sizzle, the sword of blue sizzle magic protect me in all my deepest, darkest days as I roam through the forest. And it will help me, um, God, I'm really shaky. <laughs> It'll help so me. What happens when you hit 60? I'm not 60. The sizzle sword will help me, uh, not only not only protect myself, but also get dinner. <laughs> because, you know, rabbit, they have rabbits in D&D? &D? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, like the rabbits or whatever, whatever these guys eat. And this time I'm going to choose Louie? Yeah. Is that Louie? That is okay. Louie. Right. See, I know my One Direction. I'm just curious if you can name the other two. <laughs> Uh, Todd? No. What's it start with? Oh. 
Louis. No. Uh, <laughs> I said Louis. Lance? <laughs> no. Leroy. No. What's the second letter? I. Liam. Uh huh. And then this is first letter. N. Nile. Yes. Horn. Okay. I think it needs to be red. I know that normally I choose things just by happenstance. <laughs> normally, <laughs> the second time you've done it, and also the second, the first time you've done your color choosing system. <laughs> so <laughs> that is. <laughs> Okay. Okay, well, I don't know. It feels like I've been doing this for ages. I really like Well, I mean, you've been painting for 21 minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Have I? Yeah. Okay. So, so then, guy has his cloak. He has his blue sword of sizzle magic. And then his mom goes, uh, okay, one more thing. I made this, uh. Where'd her voice go? My voice? Her voice. You did a voice for Oh, her. I did. Okay. <laughs> Son, <laughs> I have also am bequeathing on you an outfit that will protect you from, like, Nordic Blast or whatever things that could happen to you in the wild. And it is the color of red. Which is the color of, it's the color of blood, but don't pay attention to that part. It's the color of danger and stay away from me with your magic. (laughs) This is really hard right in here, this little, this little tiny detail part. But when you're, when you're painting, I mean, seriously, don't. Do not stress on it because if you just let, if you just let your hand kind of go, you just let God take over. (laughs) (laughs) Just feel the Holy Spirit. Right. When you're painting, if you just, if you just totally just let go and let your hand uh, guide you. He's going to turn out like that. It's gonna, it's gonna be like number one. It's gonna be a magical, transcendent experience. Number two, everything's gonna turn out okay, and it's gonna look, it's gonna look really good. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. How's how's it look? Because I can't see very well. <laughs> My eyes are really bad. Your trifocals. Yeah, I have trifocals, but I still I can't see very well. Probably because I spend too much time on my phone. Um. So then the last thing that his mother said. Uh, she already told him one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> she did. So then his mom says, "Oh hey, one last thing. Or oh, oh hey." One last thing, son, that I will give you to protect you. These are the boots. And pants. And pants. Oh, is that his pants, too? And his boots, yeah. Okay. These are the boots and pants of teleportation. (laughs) So that if you are in a battle with flying snakes and you are going to die, you can click your heels together and... To say there's no place like Gnome. There's no place like Gnome. And then you'll be... Oh, wait. And then you'll be teleported to a Gnome forest where they'll, they're will they having a barbecue and they'll protect you and keep you safe from the flying snakes. And he was just so... He was so happy when, when he got this stuff because he knew... Um, that everything was going to be okay. So. Okay, so then the last the last thing that we need to do is we need to add our detail on the cape. So what I like to do. Aren't you going to also paint the base? Um. It kind of looks cool because it looks like a street. Do you think? Sure. Okay, well maybe we'll do that at the end. Because right now I this is not gonna end well. Right now I need to get the details going. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go into like the folds of the cape. <laughs> really delicately. Mm -hmm. You're just going to highlight because what you want it to look like. Oh, you, sh you should probably let the yellow dry, but oh, we don't have time because I got to play Fallout. Uh, you just... <laughs> hands are so shaky you just want to highlight the folds and what this does is this creates the illusion of uh like shadows like it's a you know it's a it's a sunny day out and the folds are just shadows see usually what you do to add some detail mm -hmm. is just use a slightly darker yellow oh is that what you do <laughs> yeah when when you're painting, just go bold, be bold, go big. Don't don't like listen to people, except me. Because <laughs> if people are gonna try and and stuff you in a tiny box and say, oh, you know, you should use like a little bit darker shade of yellow. At me next time, <laughs> why don't you? <laughs> they're just trying to bum you out, is what they're. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, I mean, okay, now we got to do the folds on the on the inside. And when you actually, when you just, you just dabble. You just dabble. When you're dabbling, like now I'm going to dabble and I'm going to do like the, um, the folds of his boots and stuff. When you're dabbling, just don't, no fear. There's just no fear. Nothing you're, nothing you can do. To when you're painting. Keep moving him. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing you can do while you're painting is is going to hurt it. You know, it's like everything happens for a reason. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I want to highlight his face a little oh, bit. No. Well, no, because like right now you can't really see the details. You need to see these eyes have seen some stuff in his days. Not his eyes, it's his forehead. It's so hard to see. It's so tiny. <laughs> well, is that... I? Because I wanted to paint... Oh, I think I know what I need to do. I need to do the pupils. You're... Huh? Set them down. Okay. <laughs> so I can get this. Okay. Is it Okay. <laughs> You just painted his face black. <laughs> oh, I did? Okay, let me do the pupils. I'm going to do the pupils. I think I'm going to go for some of the some of the pink. Maybe I'll do it up here so you can so you can see it better. You say as you just shove your camera. <laughs> you oh. shove your your hand into the camera. Okay, maybe that was just his that was his Is thing. he wearing a flower crown? <laughs> yeah. So for pupils, I think I'm going to have to go white. Don't you think? Because this That's is not how pupils work. Well, this is D&D &D and everything is like opposite day. You know what I mean? Everything's magical and mysterious. And so, oh, can you see it? Mhm. Mm okay, so if you just really you really got to make sure you you're just going to dab. <laughs> You're just gonna dab. Okay, those is beautiful. <laughs> Are those is beautiful? No. Did I get close? One is on top of the other one. <laughs> okay, is his other eye over here? No. Okay. <laughs> How's that? That's great. I'm just gonna paint the base now. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna paint it brown because I want it to look like um, I want it to look like street. So when you're when you're painting the base, you can just you don't even have to try. <laughs> That's debatable. You just once again go for it. Go big or go home. And that's my kind of <laughs> just painting the counter. Well, you're supposed to have newspaper down. But I forgot that part because it's been a while since I've painted. Also, I don't know if we have any newspaper to spare. Because, like, part of my, uh, part of my philosophy 
has always been uh don't let the man keep you down don't don't go don't not try stuff because people are watching and judging you because if you're if you're delighted and you're having fun isn't that all that that's all that matters get in there with your paintbrush and yeah you may not be the mate may not be the greatest painter that ever lived but don't let that discourage you see people are gonna think that you're getting all deep because you've been in quarantine but <laughs> it's re you're really just like this all the time <laughs> yeah yeah it's true so Okay, I think. Oh, I missed some of his boot, but we'll just kind of cover. You that. also missed some of the counter too. You want to get? You want to get a little bit more on the counter? No, I think we're good. Okay, so this is the point where you clean your brush off for the final time, and you present your project to the public. Oh my God! Everyone. I would like to present you with the blue lord of sizzle pants. He's green. Oh, <laughs> of the green lord of sizzle pants. I thought it was a sizzle sword. A sizzle sword. <laughs> he is ready for a new home. Imagine showing up to a D&D &D game and you have the lord of sizzle pants. And he is ready to... Get you out of all kinds of crazy mix-em-ups. He's going to get you out of uh, battles that go wrong. Um, he's going to help you unlock doors because he has unlock door magic. He's going to <laughs> help D &D you. Works. He, well, I can give him attributes, and I'm giving him attributes right now. He can, uh, he can see in the dark. Whether or not his character has dark vision, he can see in the dark. So he can... And he can become a lantern, like his head will just start glowing, like if you, like if you, his earlobe, if you just press his earlobe, his head starts glowing, and he becomes a lantern, and he can lead you into the deepest, darkest forest. You don't have to worry, because here he is, in all his glory. He's been protected by his mom, you know what I mean? She gave him all this stuff, and he's so ready for battle, he's ready to be in your game. Just... Are you looking at me again? <laughs> oh, am I? No, I think I'm looking at the camera. So, just... If, if you're going to give him a good home, let us know... Let us know what... What this guy means to you. Let us know how you will honor him. How you will um, spread tales of his glory throughout the kingdom. Whatever kingdom your your game is in. How will he become a part of your life is basically what I'd like to know. Thank you so much for joining us on this quarantine edition of Paint Your Little Guy. <laughs> you gonna smile? I'm just gonna stare blankly into the camera. <laughs> Did you get a picture? It's video. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to take a still. <laughs> <laughs>